The Republican Party is pro-military, that is, until it comes to service members voting, apparently. On Friday, a Wisconsin lawmaker filed a lawsuit to prevent the counting of military ballots in her state. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your legal analyst, Adrian Lawrence. GOP Representative Janelle Branchen, well, along with a group of veterans, went ahead and filed a lawsuit at the close of last week to stop the immediate counting of military ballots in Wisconsin. Branchen, who is known for pushing false election claims, was motivated to file suit after claiming to have received military ballots with fictitious names. Now this per the Washington Post. Last week, Branchen received three military ballots under fictitious names that were allegedly sent to her by Kimberly Zapata, a Milwaukee election official. Election officials have criticized Branchen for spreading false claims about the system, and Zapata later told prosecutors she was trying to, to alert Branchen about an actual weakness in the state's voting system that should be addressed. Days later, Zapata was fired and charged with a felony and three misdemeanors. Branchen is using this stunt now to argue that military ballots shouldn't be counted unless election officials can prove that they're keeping a list of eligible military voters because, well, she doesn't trust Wisconsin election officials. Mind you, in Wisconsin, members of the military can vote without registering or showing proof of residency. And that would make sense given that military members are more likely to be transient in service of our country. Now, recognizing the ridiculousness of this lawsuit, the director of Union Veterans Council, Will Attic, voiced his objections to not counting military ballots. These are service members defending our country that have the right to vote and their means to vote is by mail, he said. We've got what to me, me appears to be an orchestrated plan by election deniers who do not truly support our democracy. So let me get this right. Branchen received three military ballots with fake names, and the person who made up these ballots, uh, who is an election official, mind you, quickly copped to doing so, uh, largely because she wanted to show the vulnerabilities of the system. Yet Branchen wants to interfere with service members' right to vote because she describes, or she subscribes, I should say, to false election claims? There's a lot going on here, but I can tell you that everybody in this whole situation seems utterly ridiculous. First, what kind of election official engages in fraud to try to prove deficiencies in the process by which they do their job? She definitely needs to be prosecuted. And second, the fact that Branchen caught the fake ballots seems to prove that the system isn't deficient. So why the need for a lawsuit if the system is clearly operating such that ballots issued under fictitious names are caught? And third, this lawsuit is incredibly disrespectful to service members. Not to mention that only about 1,400 so far have voted in Wisconsin, where there are over three and a half million people registered to vote. So military voters uh, comprise just 0.04% of the votes in Wisconsin. Yet Branchen and her group, they want to stop counting ballots by way of this lawsuit. This nonsense is really a direct product of Donald Trump's campaign to undermine election integrity. It's absolutely ridiculous, and we're going to see a lot more Republicans trying to undermine the integrity of our election system and also the counting of ballots. But those are just my thoughts. You let me know yours in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.